started out in a high school program just like this. I did a three-year program in effect in high school and went straight into the, as an apprentice into the trade and been very good to me. I worked 25 years in the field and then I came here. It's a two-year program, so this is my beginning class. So they'll be here all year long and they'll come back again next year. So they learn basic skills with the trowel, tools. They'll learn basic blueprint reading, which will start next week. Math we're doing right now. So a lot of, a lot of good stuff that they need to learn in the trade. My advanced class are doing some projects over this way on this side. And when these students get out, they have the opportunity to go into an apprenticeship. We have an agreement with the union across the bridge in Bowie. They can go there, do an apprenticeship with the union. So many different opportunities. They can go with local contractors. There's many different opportunities. The students from one masonry class had the opportunity to tour the construction site for the new YMCA in Centerville. The new Y promises to be a pretty large facility. The tour was led by the project manager from KRM Construction, the company in charge of building the facility. Then the students had a chance to try bricklaying skills they've learned in class and receive some tips from a professional mason. I always get calls for students. They need so many bricklayers right now. It's just like everything else. They need a lot of a lot of masons right now. So there's a lot of opportunity out there. I'm Cameron Callahan. I graduate class 2024. I'm doing this pathway and I'm doing Homeland Security. Um, and I finish this class and that class next year, my senior year. I do both of the last two classes. A normal day is we'll come into the classroom. We'll do about 25 minutes of classwork. Like this morning, we did a math review. We have an upcoming construction math test. And then we're out in the shop working because it's a lot of hands-on skills. And we lay a course or we learn a different buttering technique. So it's more in the shop than in the classroom. These guys in the background, you can see they're doing like some basic projects to learn how to do some of the different brick positions, which is there's only six different ways you can turn a brick, but some job sites require different, different types of patterns. And some of the, what they're working on right now with this, this is called a soldier course. It's kind of difficult. So they're learning that right now. Some other walls they've done what's called a roll lock. So just different ways to turn the brick. It's challenging. Well, they get certified in here, actually. There's a national certification we do. It doesn't mean they're, you know, like journeyman bricklayers as soon as they walk out. They have the basic skills. But that certification allows them to go, they could go to California, and they could pull up their information see if they've had the training. So it gives them a leg up on anyone else that doesn't have the certification. I think it's good for any kid to just have that opportunity to take something up like masonry and just have it in their pocket for the rest of their life, like a side job. For a while, I wanted to be a firefighter. They get paid, they're only on for a day and then they're off for about three. So this is something you could do for those three days, just make a little extra money. A lot of these kids, you know, they're not on the college track and they just kind of want to do have, some are and some want to have something to fall back on if college doesn't work out. So yeah, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of opportunity for them to learn something here and you can't take that away from them, you know, once they've learned a trade. I always, I always look forward to taking all these down. Before we take these down, we're actually about to do a competition to see who can lay the most bricks in uh, 30 minutes. It means a lot for these kids to have these pathways. You know, a lot of schools don't have these pathways, and it's a really good opportunity that we, we're lucky to have this in Queen Anne's County. For more information, call Adam Tolley at 410-758-2403, extension 252, or go to qacps.org and search for career and technology.